welcome back to Consumer Update. Tower Radiology has been Tampa's most trusted since 1970. And joining me today is Krishna Nalamshetty from Tower Radiology in Tampa. Welcome Hi. to the yeah. show. Thank you for having me. Well, my pleasure. I've actually been there, so that's great. Because you guys do, you offer a wide variety of different testing, right? That's correct. We're a fully subspecialized radiology practice. Okay, but today we're actually going to really concentrate on cardiac MRIs. Can that's you, correct. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So cardiac MRI is a new modality that we use to look at the heart okay. and, and the function of the heart. Mm -hmm. um, there's several different modalities that are out there, such as echocardiograms, cardiac CT, cardiac catheterization, and nuclear stress tests. Okay. But cardiac MRI is a fairly new uh, modality that's come into the clinical arena probably within the last five years or so. And okay. it's now considered the gold standard or best test for looking at several features of the heart muscle and function. Really? Yes. Really. Now, what are the indications for having the cardiac MRI? That's a great question. Yeah. Okay. You know, currently, as I said, there's so many different modalities that mm -hmm. we can use. Each one has its strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Now, cardiac MRI is considered the gold standard or the best test for looking at the function of the heart. Mm -hmm. So how well the heart is beating and how much blood the heart is able to put out. Okay. So that becomes very important in certain disease processes such as heart failure, uh, cardiomyopathies, and patients who've had heart attacks. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing that cardiac MRI is quite useful for is looking at how much damage there has been to the heart muscle when someone does suffer a heart attack. Really? Okay. Yeah. And it's actually the only test that has proven to predict how well a patient recovers after surgery. So wow. if, if a patient's had a, uh, a heart attack and the doctor's trying to decide whether or not they would be a good candidate to get a bypass surgery or mm -hmm. a, a coronary stent, cardiac MRI helps them decide whether or not they will benefit from that surgery or not. Wow, right. okay. Well, now you mentioned some additional tests. Mm -hmm. I think you mentioned the echocardiogram, nuclear stress test. How does this compare with those type of tests? Sure, so like I said before, so each of these tests have different strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Now, some say that cardiac MRI is considered the one-stop shop because it oh. provides a lot of information that each of these tests provide. Okay. So one of the main advantages is you're able to acquire a lot of information without having to go through multiple exams. So you're okay. able to look at the function yeah. of the heart, uh, the valves of the heart, uh, um, whether or not there's any scar tissue. In patients who've had congenital heart disease, um, the cardiac MRI provides a wealth of information regarding each one of these topics. See, this is great because it seems like, like you said, it's an all-in-one, but it also saves time. And in our busy schedule, sometimes we put things off because of the time. That's absolutely right. Yeah. And uh, with, uh, like the other tests, instead of getting scheduled for four or five different right. examinations before the doctor can decide surgery, no surgery, yeah. uh, the cardiac MRI gets all of that information at once and then provides the clinician with all the information they need to make an informed decision. I was going to say, when you're dealing with your heart, that could be the difference I, between life and death. Absolutely. So, and, and a lot of times when we, when we do these tests, we try to get results very quickly to the physician mm -hmm. because these are life-threatening conditions that someone needs to make a decision on right away. Yeah, that's true. Now, um, who is your typical patient? Like, is there an age group that this typically... It's, it's interesting. So we do patients who are newborns all okay. the way up to... Uh, end of life. So really? it just okay. depends on the different conditions that we're looking at. So like I mentioned, congenital heart disease, mm -hmm. patients who are born with heart defects, we start doing this test on them from day one of life and then we follow them up every year to see how they're progressing. Now somebody who's had a heart attack in their 70s or 80s, mm -hmm. we can also do the test for them to try to decide if they'll be a good candidate for surgery or not. Wow, no, it definitely sounds like a win-win for anybody involved. But right. um, also, people are really concerned now about like side effects, radiation. Like, what what are you dealing with with this exam? Is that sure. something to think about? Absolutely. So it's always a, a question to have about any type of imaging procedure that you do. Uh, the advantage with cardiac MRI is it doesn't use any radiation. Okay. So it is completely radiation free. Um, so that's that's one very strong point. In terms of side effects, the side effects are extremely rare. Okay. Now, certain patients cannot have a cardiac MRI, and it's similar to patients who can't have MRIs in general, because the way MRI works is we use magnets to obtain images. Okay. So if someone has metal in their body, mm -hmm. certain types of metal are not safe to be used with an MRI. So it's just one of the things that we check on every patient to make sure that they're safe to have an MRI first. Now, is this test safer than some of the other tests? Yes. That, that typically use? What's the difference there? Correct. So this is completely non-invasive. Okay. So it doesn't require any 
cutting, uh, you know, um, sometimes we have to put an IV line to, to uh, inject some contrast okay. so we can take a look at how the heart is uh, working. But besides that, the, uh, there really is no other invasive aspect of this and the, the risks from having this procedure are extremely low. And that's a huge thing to consider when you're when you're doing anything as a patient. Mm -hmm. I mean, you should ask those questions, and a lot. I'm assuming a lot of patients don't, and that, they really need to. That's true, and there, we we do post a lot of information about that on our website mm -hmm. that you could take a look at to learn about what's safe, what's not safe, what are the risk factors okay. of getting a certain procedure, and we hope that helps the patients when they when they're trying to decide what tests may be best for them. No, and that's a great resource. Real quick, what's the website? We'll say it again at the end, but I think it's a great website. Yeah, it's www.towerradiologycenters.com. So you can actually go and. Be in control That's of correct. your medical procedures, which right. is and, great. And it also gives them an, an opportunity to learn a little bit about what mm -hmm. to expect from a different type of test. Okay. So there's not that anxiety issue when they come in to have the study done. And a lot of times there is anxiety when you don't know and that's you're true. dealing, like you said, you don't have answers. A lot of people are coming in, they don't have answers, they don't know what's wrong. So that, that's really comforting as a patient, I just want to tell you that. Right. Um, now, as far as interpreting these, these cardiac MRIs, is there a special training? Yes, so both the American College of Radiology and the okay. American College of Cardiology have specific guidelines guidelines of what they recommend training wise to be able to perform and interpret these studies. So usually they require an additional year of training just in that one test. Okay. So that's after finishing medical school you do six years of, of, of tr sub training in general radiology followed by an additional year in, a, in, in dedicated cardiac MRI. So within Tower Radiology Centers we have two, two physicians, myself and Dr. Carlos Rojas, who have done that up at Harvard Medical School and then came back and brought the technology here to Tampa. So they really are specialists. You're specialists that's doing that's this. This is, this is amazing. I kind of said, wow, under my breath. I don't think anybody saw me, but when you were talking about how much um, education it takes to be able to interpret this, I literally was like, wow. <laughs> right. Because it's a lot. It does. And yeah. it's a very complicated exam, so it needs to be done at a dedicated site with dedicated physicians who interpret these studies. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're fortunate that in our facility we have two different physicians who do that on a daily basis and exclusively uh, interpret those studies. That's fabulous. Now, obviously you guys uh, do MRI, but what other, um, or cardiac MRIs, but what other services do you guys provide? Sure. So when it comes to the heart, we uh, uh, provide all different different modalities, so okay. as basic as electrocardiograms or EKGs, okay. uh, ca stress tests, cardiac CTs to look at the coronary arteries to determine mm -hmm. if there's a blockage, and cardiac MRIs as well. So okay. we're kind of a full gamut uh, service provider when it comes to cardiac imaging. No, you are, and I have to tell you too, it's, you're very efficient, because I've, I've been in Tower before, and well, for anybody that hasn't, it's actually a very good experience. You go and go, oh, I'm going to be sitting all day, oh my, it really isn't, so I just want to compliment you on that. Thank you very much. Um, so how do we find you? So again, the, the bulk of our information is located on the website. Mm -hmm. You can go to www.towerradiologycenters.com. Um, from there, we have links to, to different disease processes, procedures, and all that, and there's a wealth of information on the website. Well, there you go. Now we know where to go. Thanks again for coming on the show. A lot of uh, a wealth of information that you just gave us today. Great. So. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, our pleasure. Coming up, an exciting self-esteem summer camp is coming to Tampa Bay. And the best part, it's just for girls. We'll have more right after this.